Last time in Techie, we showed you how the standard Formula E car works and the key components of the drivetrain, the battery, inverter, motor and transmission. In season two, the teams can develop their own drivetrains to try and gain a competitive advantage. They want to be faster than each other, but they've found different solutions to the same questions, and that has made the racing all the more interesting. As in all race cars, it's a compromise between components to get the best results. Do you want more torque, fewer gears, or less weight? Much of the work has focused on the motors, and which type of motor they use in turn determines how many gears they need in their transmission. To accelerate fast out of corners, the cars need torque. Next EV and DS Virgin have gone for twin motors that can develop so much torque that the car can accelerate all the way to its top speed without needing any additional gears. From standing start to flat out in one gear with no changes. The downside to this is that the two motors are heavy so that the car can be seen at times to be sliding with the weight at the back of the car. A single motor will be lighter and can spin very fast, but it doesn't have the torque needed for fast acceleration, so gears are needed to transfer the power into that accelerative force. The size and spinning speed of the motor will determine how many gears the other teams will need. The original car, still used by Andretti and Aguri, has five gears. And the Venturi, Dragon and Mahindra cars still use the McLaren motor, but have gone for a four-gear solution. Abt have three gears with their single motor, but their clever twist appears to be putting the inverter low in the car with the motor to improve the handling. They won't tell us exactly what they've done, but the car certainly has a distinctive noise. Renault, the success story of the season so far, has a single motor and two gears. With so few gears, the motor needs to be bigger to create enough torque. But to minimize this extra weight, the team have focused on reducing it with extensive use of carbon fiber to house the motor and gearbox. But the really clever part appears to be the use of an old school manual gear stick to switch between high and low gears, like an old arcade game less complex than a paddle shift system and weighing less too. Many different ideas, but who has got it right? We'll let you know at the end of the season. And we go green in Mexico City. And let's see who gets the best start on the rundown towards turn number one. Sam Bird looking up the inside of Sarazan. D'Ambrosio's got the lead covered and Apton de Grassi are so close to each other. We're going almost three wide at the back. Will everyone...